is it? Come in. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Uh, I, just, I was just praying for like four hours. But uh, I guess, yeah, I got some time. You can come on in. Uh, welcome to my crib, uh, Pilgrim Hall, room 19. Come on in. Uh, make yourself at home. As you remember, I sent you the picture uh, in my first email of what my room looks like. Well, it's pretty different now. Um, the bed's in the, still in the same place. And we have the bookshelf, or I mean, we have the dresser right here. We got some nuts, high protein snack, smart water. Classes here aren't easy, but come check this out. You remember the bookshelf was pretty sp sparse last time? Well, after a month and a half, or a, a semester and a half at seminary, this is what happened to the bookshelf. Yeah, pretty sweet. If you ever need any book recommendations, let me know. So uh, this is my desk. It's pretty small, but it's pretty much all I need. And uh, why don't we check out my closet now? Come on, follow me. All right, stop. This is my closet. Uh, four pairs of pants, three pairs of jacket, or three jackets. It gets pretty cold up here. Four dress shirts, and my shoe collection. You know how you know on cribs all these ballers show you all their shoes. Well, this baller is going to show you all my shoes. Bam! Three pairs. Uh, why don't we go check out the rest of Pilgrim? So I live in room 19, and uh, here in room 24, don't ask me how the numbering works, live Jesse Peterson and Daniel Stahl. Let's see if they're in here. Jesse, Daniel? Oh, hey, Daniel. Oh, hey, Daniel. What's up, man? Uh, I'm just making a video showing people about Pilgrim. Well, why don't you tell the, camp tell the people a little about yourself? Oh, cool. Yeah, I grew up overseas, started studying. All right, that's enough, man. Uh, it's good seeing you. Uh, take care. This is pretty much their room. They got a bunch of clothes. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> You can tell the camera a little bit more about yourself. Okay, well, I love this dorm. No two rooms are alike, and the people are great. They're friendly and want to grow in Christ. Uh, a little bit too studious sometimes, I think, but I guess that's what seminary is about. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I paid them to say that, obviously. Uh, way to stick to the script. So uh, this room is obviously a little different from mine. Um, but, you know, to each their own, and uh, these are two great guys. Why don't we go back out, and we'll go around and check out some of the other places here at Pilgrim. So this is the restroom that I shower in, and I forgot to mention that the walls in my room are paper thin. So I pretty much hear everything, everything that goes on in that room. So, uh, Pilgrim Hall, originally a horse stable, and I think these are converted servants' quarters. Uh, about 20 guys live in Pilgrim Hall. Uh, there's the second floor, which I live on, and then there's a third floor where I think like six or seven guys live on. And here we have the lounge. Uh, this is kind of uh, a smorgasbord of uh, weird furniture. Guys who don't want to come on camera. And then Joel. Joel's awesome. Joel, why don't you tell the camera a little about yourself? Um... Well, camera, there really is. All right, a thanks a lot, Joel. Yeah, it was yeah. good seeing you again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. You can tell them a little more about yourself. Tell uh, them about how you're a trucker over winter break. Um, I was a trucker over winter break, but I was really just a fake trucker. That's really all there is to say. Let's check out this freezer, okay? So, 20 guys live in this place, and this is their freezer. Uh, pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure half the food in here is expired, and uh, <coughs> room, but uh, you know we're kind of too lazy to clean it out. I think we're busy doing other things, becoming future leaders of the church in America and all over the world. But uh, let's take take a look at the rest of Pilgrim. Oh, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite people at Pilgrim. Well, besides these guys. <laughs> most important room in the entire dorm. This is where the resident life coordinator and the vice resident life coordinator live and plan and work, play, cry, do everything. I'm gonna, I think they're having a conversation right now, but we're gonna interrupt it. Come on. Yeah, like, 
Like they uh, said. Are you are you the only one in here? Yeah, we're on the phone. Oh, I'm sorry. I was to myself. My bad. Do you know where Nathan is? Uh, Nathan's down the hall. I think. I think he's in the fume room. Oh, he's in the fume room. All right, thanks, man. Yeah. He talks to himself sometimes. Don't worry. All right. Okay. 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 This is what you've been waiting for. This guy. Hello. Is pleasure the to resident be life coordinator Nathan Willems? Why don't you tell them a little about yourself? Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm a third year MDiv student. I'm from Iowa originally, and I plan to graduate in May. But uh, by God's grace, I still don't know yet what I'm doing. But I'm confident the Lord will provide, as He has for me throughout uh, my life so far. He was reading off a teleprompter, as you can tell. Nathan, tell me about how you love to bake. I love to bake. How do I love to bake? I love to bake uh, pies, and I enjoy uh, cooking generally, but my girlfriend really likes to bake cookies, and she does frequently. Um, she likes baking different things from scratch without recipes, and she's pretty good at it. Yeah, we're all very thankful for Nathan's girlfriend, Angie. Uh, we do enjoy the food. But here. I have a theory. Okay, so why don't we walk and talk? Thanks a lot, Nathan. Oh, my have pleasure. a good day. Enjoy. Good night. This is uh, Steve and Michael's room. This is the hub of the internet in Pilgrim. This is where, from this room, comes the connectivity for the rest of Pilgrim. That's Corey. Corey is closely related to John Havlicek. I think they're brothers. Is that right? Something like that. I'm, I'm a little older. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's, they're, he, they're honestly related, though. Um, okay, so on our last stop at Pilgrim, on our pilgrimage, we're going to go to Matt and Vlad's room. Uh, Matt's actually the one helping me film right now, so I'm going to go ahead and take the camera and let Matt show you around his room. All right, man. Go for it. All right, so this is Matt Glad's room. It's not very big, so just bear with me. Okay, this he says bed. not very big, but it's six to eight times larger than my room. This is my bed here. Because he's six to eight times the man I am. Here's my shoes, just a few pair. Okay. <laughs> this guy is super fashionable. This he has like eight sport coats. This is my little bookshelf here. It starts about here. Those over here, yeah, DC Talk, autograph picture, it's amazing. Movies, more books, over here, more books, here, to here, and on my desk, of course my MacBook, I'm a Mac guy. He's not really, he's a poser. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's true, man. <laughs> and then, uh, Be honest. Okay, Matt is our resident barista. He works at Starbucks about, what do you say, like 80, 85 hours a week or something like that? Yeah, that's about right. And uh, he has all this weird Starbucks paraphernalia. Um, so Matt, how would you say your uh, first semester plus has been here at Gordon-Conwell? It's been pretty good. It's been busy, you know. Yeah. Lots of reading. So yeah. It's been good times. Good times getting to know uh, a guy named Daniel Wong. Yeah. Yeah. What is uh, your girlfriend. favorite thing about Daniel? His nice people. Um, he's just a very, very friendly guy. So, if you could change one thing about him, what would it be? Um, I would say maybe the number of times he cleans his bedding and or laundry. Okay. Yeah. If would you ever consider naming your son, uh, firstborn son, after him? It's quite possible. Sweet man. All right. Thanks a lot. So we've come to the end of our first installment of Pilgrim Cribs. Coming next time, where I will show you not just Pilgrim, but other buildings on campus. All right. Y'all have a good night. I'm gonna go back to pray.